Let's get miniature! We made a miniature world. Wow, your friend! No more. Where's that super armor killing machine again? Hey, Roderick, great to see you, man! Oh, well, yeah, <laughs> you're just a piece of plastic. I, I know, I know. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool. Hey, DM Scotty here at DM's Craft, and today I have John from Tabletop Witchcraft with me. How you doing? Thank you so much, John, for, for coming on. Uh, yeah. And we've been chatting for a while talking about doing traps. And we decided yeah. that we're going to have a kind of a friendly competition and do traps. And we're going to show you guys. So each of us have done a trap, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, make sure you check out John's at Tabletop Witchcraft. And, of course, you're watching mine right now. <laughs> so yeah. there you go. So, uh, yeah, thanks for, sh for joining us. And we're going we're gonna to jump right in and do these traps. And uh, make sure it. you check out John's when we're done, all right? All right. Let's jump right in. Like many of my cheap crafts, I'm going to use a lot of my trademark craft materials. I'm going to use some beads, some cheap foam core I got from the dollar store, a salvage item, it's a juice top, a Dollar Tree rat skeleton I got last Halloween, uh, chipboard and cardstock, cheap rhinestones, Elmer's glue and E6000, and of course for the cool detail, I'm going to use my hot glue. You know how much I love my hot glue. And of course a few other bits and surprises thrown in by DM Scotty. I'm crafting this terrain for a module I'm writing for quest givers called A Plague of Vermin. See the play on words there? And uh, basically it's an altar and a transformation area all at the same time. They're transforming the dead into these rat men. So this is going to be really cool and I decided that it should be a round altar. The altar is going to need several things. One thing is a bath to uh, wash the dead bodies in with this mutagen that they're going to spray out. But I also wanted to have something that was fun for the rat, the vermin, uh, for the rat men. And I decided to use a rat head as going to be the sprayer. And it's going to be the uppermost part of the altar. So I'm going to use these segments uh, in that way. So uh, part of the segments will be cut out and will be the bath area. And then one of the slices of the pie will be where the rat head sits on. So it'll be a nice kind of uh, circular piece. And the reason for this circular piece is unknown to the players when they come in. The rat head can actually rotate on the base, right? So it uh, goes from being, you know, changing the dead into rat men to spraying this mutagen on the players. And you could even have them change into rat men themselves or just be like acidic uh, until they die and then they turn into rat men. So it's a really fun element to a battle that they have to deal with not only the rat men uh, in the final encounter, but this sprayer that can turn in any direction. And since the altar is circular and it's the highest point on the altar, there's nothing obstructing it on the altar itself. <laughs> A project like this altar trap is very interesting because unlike other things where you know you're starting with a boat or a, a hut or something like that you know, you're not going to have a very good idea of like what other people have done before or you know what a hut looks like right um, it, the really the part the trick is to craft it you know to get the crafting right on it so that's really where it comes from but something like this is interesting because it's a whole it's its own concept, right? It's it's not something that people have seen before. It's something that you're coming up with, you know, just out of the blue. And these are the kind of projects really that I love the most, you know, making something that no one's ever seen before. Uh, like I said, the other stuff, you've seen it before, right? In different forms and different shapes, but you've seen it all. But stuff like this, you haven't. So this, and it's also tricky to, you know, get from a concept to like an actual physical piece. So here we are, a blank page. It's the most terrifying thing you can think of, right? You, uh, you know, you may not have any solid ideas and you've got to get over that. So how do you do that? Uh, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll look at the stuff I have. You know, I knew it was rat themed, so I like, I'd like to incorporate this rat skeleton somehow. How am I gonna do this? And then uh, a lot of the came from the module that I'm working on. A plague of vermin because I want to have this thing spray a mutagen that turns the dead into the rat men okay so that was a great place to start you know you kind of have a thematic way to start but I'm also going to you know I want to have you know fun it's going to be a trap uh, so the players won't suspect that not only does it spray the mutagen in the bath to mutate the dead 
it can spray at them. <laughs> <laughs> right? So that's the trap part of this. And the head can rotate and it has total view because of the altar. And that's one thing I wanted to think about. You know, when I did this, the altar is round. That's where I got the round part from, that it sits on this. And then it has its highest part on the altar. So it has a nice view of the whole room. The whole head and base can rotate and spray the poor player characters with this mutagen. And uh, so that's really terrifying, but it's a great way to think of how do I make this a physical reality? This is a tabletop witchcraft to see John's laws of witchcraft to see John's laws of witchcraft. So I started from the theme, but I moved on to the practicality of the object. Theme is more than just, oh, we're in a necromancer's lair, let's have some undead. You know, with this project, I wanted to think about uh, kind of the multi-levels of it, right? Because you've got the revelation uh, of what they're finally doing here when they get to this room. They finally figure out that they're using the dead, this mutagen on the dead, to turn them into rat men, right? So that's a big revelation for the players. But not only that, um, they see the sprayer, you know, filling up the tank. And they may not realize that, oh, it can spray at them too. So they've got to fight the rat men. Uh, that are guarding it, uh, you know, and the final uh, rat priest who's the kind of the head of the operation. Uh, and they maybe they think that, oh, you know, we defeat these guys, um, we can shut this down. Well, then the head starts spraying at them. <laughs> so they've got another problem. That's the trap part. The head starts turning and spraying at them. And they can be essentially immune to it because they're already the rat men, right? They're already the ver men. So it doesn't affect them. But, you know, it sprays, it's trying to spray all over the player characters and it kills them. It'll turn them into rat men. It can be like an acidic solution that can turn them into rat men. So they're taking damage. And if they die or if they go down, you know, they could die and become rat men. So that's terrifying. But, uh, you know, that's great with the theme all working together. You know, it's a trap that's trying to turn them into a rat man. It was the whole operation, you know, turning the dead into rat men. Uh, you know, the look of it, the everything, you know, ties together to reinforce the creepy theme of this. And unbeknownst to them, there's actually, this can transform into a boss. So there's another hidden component as the altar collapses and this enormous rat golem comes out. You've seen uh, me painting it there earlier. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be another video, not in this video, but uh, yeah, it's going to be fantastic, you know, uh, and terrifying to the players when this rat golem, you know, breaks out and they, they have to fi finally fight this thing. Hey, we are at the end of this video, and I'm here with John. I'm about to show him my trap. Uh, he showed me here his on his video, so make sure that you go and see my reaction, which is fun. I'm going to see his reaction here. But first, a little idea what, what this trap was about. Uh, I'm writing a module for Quest Givers called The Plague of Vermin. Uh, vermin is kind of a play on words, of course. And so the idea is that these rat men are dragging these uh, corpses from this plague down into the sewers, soaking them in this mutagen and oh, making man. more rat mat rat men from it, right? So that's, that's cool. the idea of that's the craft. Cool. So here's here's what it looks like. Okay, so here's oh, the vat neat. where uh, the mutagen is spewed on them, right? Yeah. Uh, I didn't want to do go with a green kind of uh, mutagen. I wanted mm -hmm. it kind of you know a different color. It's red and brown essentially. It's uh, a little bit more organic. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And so there's like a metal tub, you know, that's cool. metal for the tub of the thing. But here's what's cool. I have this rat head. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, and it has a sprayer on it, right? So, <laughs> and there's the, the goop, you know, running down the yeah, sprayer. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. So what you do is you set it on the trap here like this, okay? And it spews... The mutagen you know, awesome. on the victims or on the bodies. Yeah. So when the players come in, you know, the rat men can make it turn and shoot at the players. So it becomes like a terrain hazard you know, yeah. trap 
Uh, cause they may not expect it to do that. They can spray across the room and all. This right. Stuff. Right. It's just going in the tub. So, uh, there, that happens, but then it's even worse. Right. Uh, now, I'm not going to do that with this. I'm not going to, what happens next, I'm not going to do with this video. This is kind of a preview. But what happens is it turns from a trap into a boss. Okay. Oh, man. So what happens is this thing collapses. The stone collapses. This huge golem comes out. And this is actually the head of That's the That's awesome. So I've got uh, one of these giant rats models. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> cool. Yeah. I've spiked yeah. it up. Here's the tank with the mutagen in it. The belly has the tank with the mutagen in it. Oh, that's cool. It. Yeah. Uh, yep. And the head fits on top. Oh, magnets? Is it a magnet? No, not I a love magnets. Magnet. It just, it just, I made it so it just fits. Yeah, on top cool. And it's secure. Uh, yep. So then this thing is stomping around. Uh, you know, oh, after man. The players. <laughs> well, yeah. You know, they, you know, they think they, you know, they defeat the guys. They think they're done, and then the boss suddenly, you know, that's really cool. From, yeah, you know, comes up on yeah. the floor. So, so the main the trap head. isn't even just the head. It, it, the whole thing kind of just comes out of the ground, and that's awesome. It's like a multi-part encounter, right? Right. Yeah. Very what, cool. You know, what was a trap, you know, becomes a boss. So there we go. Nice. Right. Always keeping your players on their toes, huh? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. That's awesome. So there we go, and uh, yeah, make sure to check out John's video to see my reaction. Yep. And uh, wh what do we what do we say here at the craft, John? When we when we uh, sign out, go forth and craft. <laughs> yeah, that's it. All right, go forth and craft. All right. Yeah. <laughs> see you guys next time. Take care, John. Yeah, and keep crafting, man. Yeah, you too.